today I want to talk about the massive changes that are coming for both AMC as a company and in terms of regulatory changes that will impact the shorting of AMC and the AMC squeeze. So stay tuned and let's make some money. And now I want to dive straight in with the key information. So I want to start by talking about the massive changes for AMC as a company. You may have seen Adam Aaron's recent tweet. He said, I kept my word to look for more revenue streams for AMC. And he said, as promised, we now announce the new AMC Entertainment Visa credit card filled with extra AMC Stubbs rewards, early signups, and a sweepstakes for a trip to join me at a red carpet movie premiere. Now this is brilliant and massive news for AMC. With airline credit cards, you can rack up points and earn rewards and earn miles to spend on flights. And actually, as I said, that drives the majority of profits for these airlines. Therefore, this credit card is expected to be massively profitable for AMC as a company and will help generate tons of profit and tons of cash to pay down that debt. As Spence tweeted, he said, if you quickly run the numbers and run the calculation, the total number of AMC Stubbs members multiplied by a $175 annual fee is a lot of money for the AMC credit card. And he said, let's just say that 10 million Stubbs members decide to get the credit card. That would be $1.75 billion in annual profits and annual cash that could be used to pay down the debt. He said conservatively, let's say just over half of the people actually decide to get the credit card, which is still a billion dollars in annual cash flow. And therefore, AMC's debt would be entirely cleared down by the end of 2024. Now that would mean AMC's debt is entirely cleared without selling a single additional Ape share. AMC could always issue more Ape shares and generate hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars on top of that to thrive as a company. So far, Adam Aaron is creating more ways that he can pay down debt and more ways to generate billions of dollars in annual cash flow for AMC as a company, destroying the short thesis. But arguably it's pointless destroying the short thesis and generating billions of dollars in AMC cash flow if these shorts can still continue shorting the AMC stock. Well, it seems the SEC is finally making some changes and it seems that payment for order flow and dark pool trading could be banned completely. And Citadel was directly mentioned in this interview. The, the quote from, from Gensler is this, today markets are not as fair and competitive as possible for individual investors, everyday retail investors. Um, the rule changes apparently the biggest that have been proposed, Alex, since 2005. As you say, this all came through as a result of, of what we saw with Robin Hood, uh, the whole meme story, uh, and the SEC has kind of fired the starting gun at that point and come up with what we are now likely to see, uh, and I suspect details a little bit later on. But it does sound like we are looking at potentially some fairly significant changes. I, I guess the, the kind of uh, the core of all this is going to be transparency. I think now, obviously, Citadel isn't mentioned in that little 45 second clip there. But if you do watch the entire interview, they speak about how Citadel has this majority market maker position where they generate tons of money from payment for order flow, which Gary Gensler wants to stop. But you may say, Tom, it's pointless Gary Gensler simply proposing all these rules if nothing is ever done about them and they never, ever get implemented. Well, as the Wall Street Journal just tweeted, they said the SEC voted to advance the biggest changes to stock market rules since the mid 2000s. And word for word in this Wall Street Journal article, it says the SEC proposes rules that would squeeze stock market middlemen. It says the SEC voted on Wednesday to advance the biggest changes to US stock market rules since the mid 2000s, aiming to give small time investors better prices on their trades and reduce some advantages enjoyed by high speed trading firms. Now this is obviously really good because these rules have been officially passed since Wednesday. These rules aren't simply just proposed anymore with nothing to be done. These rules have now actually been passed. Therefore, I guess it's just up to the SEC now to decide the implementation date and exactly what's going to happen. But obviously it's brilliant news that payment for order flow could soon be coming to an end and dark pool trading could also be halting as well. Obviously, if dark pool trades do end up being halted, this means that all AMC volume will have to be routed through lit exchanges and Citadel won't be able to benefit from that order flow. Obviously, all volume going lit would mean that shorts can't hide their short attacks in the dark pool for none to see. And on top of this, Hang Loose tweet is saying breaking news. Politicians have just verbatim identified FTX to be the exact same structure as US market makers like Citadel and declared it as illegitimate. He said this case will absolutely set precedents across the board and restrict any non-crypto participants like Citadel to operate in such a manner. So first, let's listen to hear what was said during the lawsuit, and then I'll explain exactly what that means in the real world. 
And guys, right now you can currently get 20 free shares worth up to $2,000 each if you sign up to Moomoo right now using the link in the description below. This is Moomoo's largest ever giveaway for the Christmas period, and they're also holding a $60,000 giveaway sweepstake. Moomoo is very easy to use. They don't accept payment for order flow, which I proved in a video a few weeks ago. They've got tons of technical indicators and advanced trading tools to help you turn into a trading pro. Thank you. And let me conclude by uh, describing what is going on here by a, a, a popular crypto commentator. If you set up an exchange where you're the market maker, you're the issuer, you're the prime broker, and then you trade against your own customers, you have a vested interest in creating the assets, promoting the assets, and manipulating the price of the assets. What you have is a crypto casino. I yield back. Now that is obviously the exact same thing that happens with Citadel. Citadel is the market maker. Citadel created the dark pool. Citadel also owns the hedge fund and trades against its retail investors. Obviously, if these politicians think it's unfair that companies can be a market maker and can be a hedge fund and can create the trading venue and trade against its customers, then simply they must agree that Citadel also needs to be disbanded as well. Citadel should be forced to choose between being a market maker or being a hedge fund or operating a trading venue and not all three at the same time. Citadel obviously shouldn't be able to profit from creating synthetic shares and passing them through the dark pool for none to see and crushing stocks prices illegitimately. And obviously, as Hangalu said, if it is determined that this is unfair for FTX to do, it absolutely sets the precedent that it should not continue for Citadel. So therefore, in two foul sweeps, we could have dark pool trading and payment for order flow absolutely removed, and Citadel could be disbanded at the exact same time. This is obviously brilliant news for regulations that directly impact AMC trading and the AMC squeeze. And on top of that, Gary Gensler could even be removed as the SEC chairman. As Whale Chart tweeted, they said breaking news. Congressman Tom Emma alleges that SEC chairman Gary Gensler was aware of the FTX fraud the entire time. If that is proven as true and Gary Gensler is held responsible for the FTX fraud and for millions of dollars in customer funds being stolen, it could mean that Gary Gensler is removed as chairman of the SEC. Hopefully at that point we can then vote in a responsible chairman that will actually fight for retail investors and not fight against retail investors. Maybe at that point the SEC will actually consider whether to propose a rule prohibiting fraud, manipulation or deception in connection with security based swaps and just securities in general. We know that earlier this year this rule was not passed and therefore a rule was not passed to prohibit fraud, manipulation and deception in those swaps. However, obviously with no payment for order flow, with no dark pools, with no Citadel and with no Gary Gensler, it could actually pave the way for a responsible stock market. Finally, as Zero Hedge tweeted, it seems that mass layoffs are actually coming to Wall Street as Citibank has fired dozens of investment bankers. We obviously also heard of Credit Suisse laying off staff, Deutsche Bank have also been laying off staff as well, and I'm sure many other banks like JP Morgan and Credit Suisse have at least frozen hiring, and if not, are also implementing mass layoffs as well. Clearly Wall Street is feeling the pinch and is losing tons and tons of money, obviously due to the current stock market crash, and will likely continue losing money and could potentially end up insolvent, and some of these major banks may end up collapsing. We know just how close Credit Suisse is right now and Deutsche Bank are as well right now to collapsing already. But actually this could end up getting significantly worse for these major banks and we may see many more major banks toppling. This article also talks about the massive amount of layoffs that have happened across the tech industry as a whole on top of the banking industry as well. It says with tech companies unexpectedly firing thousands of highly paid woke millennials as the US economy crumbles into the worst recession since Lehman. The Cabessi letter tweeted saying layoffs this month as a percentage of workers. Twitter 50%, Cameo 25%, Robin Hood 23, Intel 20, Snapchat 20, Coinbase nearly 20 as well, Open Door nearly 20, and many other tech companies laying off thousands of employees. Investment banking fees at Citigroup fell 64% in the third quarter, to the worst third quarter performance since 2012. Now that is why we're seeing a massive amount of layoffs in tech, but also across Wall Street as well, as the activity simply isn't there as the wider market is crashing. I think the way to really fix this is to be rid of payment for order flow and dark pools, to be rid of Citadel and to be rid of Gary Gensler. That way the stock market can start rebuilding back in a fair and precise manner.
That will obviously help many US companies that have been shorted into an oblivion thrive and grow and develop into proper companies growing the stock market back properly once again. And especially with some new massive changes at AMC that could potentially generate billions and billions of dollars every single year for AMC, I think the future of AMC is looking very bright. But guys, be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, guys, be sure to ding that notification bell because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.